The new RTX 4070 is out on the market right now and it's designed to play at 1440p ultra settings max FPS. I have to tell you the performance is actually pretty good for gaming and it's also a really viable option for content creators. That being said, I will show you the best rise to performance PC build that you can get for the RTX 4070 and at the end of the video I will explain on how to make this PC cheaper in case you have a lower budget but 1440p is becoming even cheaper and I promise you that if if you build one of these PC builds, you're going to get the best performance for 1440p at this price point. If you're going to buy a new PC and you want to make sure it's the right one, you can ask me for personal PC help, you will have the link in the description and I will personally take a look at your situation and your budget and needs. That being said, let's start. With the CPU, I picked the Ryzen 5 76 Sanguid going for 220 bucks. This is a really good 6 core 12 thread processor, super power efficient and it's going to get the job done for the RTX 4070. You can even get away with a lower end CPU, but this is from the new AM5 five platform and if you don't know anything about computers you basically have a more upgradable path because let's say down the line you want to upgrade to a new AMD CPU that's coming in the future you can do it without having to change the motherboard. Talking about the motherboard I picked the Gigabyte B560M Aorus Elite AX. This is a decent motherboard for 180 bucks. It's not the flashiest but it's going to get the job done for gaming right now but also for the future. For the CPU cooler I picked the Cool AK400. This is a nice CPU air cooler. You definitely don't need anything more than this since we have the Ryzen 5 76 Sangrid. But if you decide to eventually upgrade the CPU down the line to let's say the Ryzen 7 7700X, then you will need a better cooler. For the memory kit, I picked the Patriot Piper Black. This is a 16 gig 2x8 of DDR5 5200 megahertz CL36 memory. To be honest, you don't need anything more than this for gaming when talking about RAM speeds. If you want, you can go for 32 gigs of RAM. I would only recommend you doing this if you are going to do content creation and you're really into it but if you're just a gamer 16 gigs will get the job done and it's going to save you a couple bucks for the storage i picked the p41 one terabyte of gen 4 ssd really fast not only for gaming but also for productivity work only going for 50 bucks at the moment for me it's an insane price and definitely a steal for the graphics card of course the RTX 4070 right now is going for $600, really similar performance to the RTX 3080 in terms of gaming and similar performance as well for the RX 6800 XT from AMD for around $550. So yes, you can get around the same performance for around $50 less, but the RTX 4070 has some cool features that the AMD GPU doesn't, such as the LSS 3.0 or frame generation, a better ray tracing level, and it's also better for productivity work and content creation. So that being said, I actually think that the RTX 4070 is a good product and I would recommend you buying it. But again, if you want to go with the RX 6800 XT because you want to spend less money and get almost the same rasterized performance, you can go ahead and go with that one. You will have the link to the alternative down below in the video description as well with all of the other components. For the case, I picked the Bitphoenix Nova Mesh. This one has four pre-installed fans and a front mesh panel. The great thing about the RTX 4070 is that it's actually small so it can fit basically in any case and this one is only going for 70 bucks so I think that it's a good deal. However, if you want something that looks better or you want one with better airflow, you will have the alternative in the description and I'm talking about the Montec Air 100 ARGP. I think that one looks fantastic but it costs 30 extra bucks so if you don't want to spend those extra 30, the Bitphoenix Nova is definitely going to be more than enough for the 4070 and the Ryzen 5 76 Sanguid. For the power supply, I picked the Enermax Revolution DF 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply and because of how power efficient the RTX 4070 and the Ryzen 5 7600 are, you actually don't even need 650 watts of wattage, you can get away with 550 but I chose the 650 watt one just because it's AT rated and by that I mean that this unit is high quality and for this CPU GPU combination I would recommend you at least a B tier rated power supply but I couldn't find anything cheaper than this that was B tier or A tier rated. For that reason this one is going to be the one that I do recommend you buying but just so you know you're gonna love this PC if you want to save some money with the electricity bill. 
This whole PC is $1,313 with 82 cents by the time that I'm recording this video. Maybe when you're watching this is a bit more expensive or a bit cheaper. I recommend you checking the links to see the actual price. But let me tell you for this price, you're actually getting the best 1440p PC out there. Of course, you can get a better one if you choose the RTX 4070 Ti instead or the RX 7900 XT. But if you choose to do that, you will also probably have to upgrade the power supply so it can get very expensive. Now, if you want to save some money and get almost the same performance, I recommend you going with the Ryzen 5 5600 instead of the 7600. And for that reason, you will have to change the cooler to the Thermal Ride Assassin 120 and then the motherboard to the Gigabyte B550M DS3H, as well with the memory kit to the ADATA XPG Gamix D20. And if you make these downgrades, this whole system is going to be $1115, which is a really good price for a 1440p gaming PC like this. And don't worry, yes, you will get a slightly worse performance than the 7600, but it's not going to be huge and you will be able to enjoy a great gaming experience for $200 less and almost the same performance. You will have these cheaper components in the description as well, in case you want to save up some money. So overall, from $1,100 to $1,300, bucks, you're getting, in my opinion, one of the best 1440p PC builds that you can get out there. You can use it as well for 4K, because you can play at 4K with the RTX 4070, but it's designed more for 1440p ultra high FPS gaming. And you can even get a cheaper system for the same performance if you decide to go with 500 gigs of SSD instead of a terabyte. But I wouldn't recommend you doing this since you will not be able to download as many games as you want if you have a 500 gig SSD. And like I said before, yes, you can get the RTX 4070 Ti. And if you want to do that and even have a better experience at 4040p, you can watch my video about my $2,000 PC build for 1440p, which is actually cheaper right now. So you may want to check that out. It also comes with some benchmarks. And like I said at the beginning, maybe you're confused with PCs. And trust me, you don't want to overspend on your first PC. So if you want me to take a personal look at your situation, the first link in the description where it says book a meeting with me, you can actually get the perfect PC for you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.